Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this pretty purse. So for my purse here I used a 4mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn, but if you wanted a slightly bigger purse then you could use a 5mm hook and worsted weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So we're going to start off by making the top part of our bag and to begin this part we need to make a magic circle. So to do a magic circle take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross. So go underneath this loop and you may need to pull it up a little bit. So go underneath the first loop and then using your crochet hook, pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through. And you can then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So to begin round one you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch, this just locks our magic circle into place. So now in round one we are going to do seven double crochets into the magic circle, so seven double crochets. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go down into the magic circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet. So now yarn over, go back down into the circle and do a second double crochet then yarn over, go back down into the circle and do a third one, then a fourth and keep doing this until you have seven. So I have finished working those double crochets and now to finish off round one, we need to close up our magic circle. So to close up the circle, take your end or your tail here and simply pull this nice and tight. So just pull it tight and that will close up the circle. And now we're ready to move on to round so two. So to begin round two, chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now round two is very simple. We're just going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here as our chain one does not count as a stitch and do one double crochet. And then yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again for a second time and do a second double crochet. And now you want to yarn over and go down into the next stitch and do two double crochets both into this one. Then do two double crochets into the next stitch. And keep doing this all the way along two double crochets into every single stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round two and at the end of this round you should find that you have 14 double crochets and now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, chain one and turn and the chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch 
but then one double crochet into the next one, then two double crochets into the next stitch, but then one double crochet into the next one, all the way along. So yarn over and go into the very first stitch here and do two double crochets like that and now yarn over go into the next stitch and do one double crochet and now repeat this again do two double crochets both into the next stitch but then just one double crochet into the next one and just continue this all the way along for round three two one two one two one So I have finished working that all the way along for round three and I have done one double crochet into this last stitch at the end and now we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round four, we're going to do two double crochets into the first stitch but then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, then two double crochets into the next stitch, one into the next, one into the next, two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way along. So do two double crochets into the first stitch, then one into the next, and one double crochet into the next stitch. And just keep repeating that all the way along. So I'm just coming to the end of round four. So I have done two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, all the way along. And I have one set left to work. So I should work two, one, one into these last three stitches at the end. But for the very last set of round four, instead of doing two, one, one, we're just going to do one double crochet into each of these three stitches. So you want to finish off with a final set of one, one, one. So yarn over, go into the next stitch. So this is the third stitch from the end and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next and one into the next. And you should find that at the end of this round, you have 27 double crochets. So you need to have 27. And the reason we just changed that last set is so that we get that number, so that we get 27. And now we're ready to move on to round five. So we're now on to round five of the top part of our purse. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one never counts as a stitch. So now we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. So do one double crochet into the first stitch. But now chain one and skip the next two stitches. So skip one and two. And then into this next stitch here, we are going to do a V. And when we do a V, we do double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all into the same stitch. So we have done double crochet, chain one, skip two stitches, and now yarn over, go down into this next stitch, and do double crochet, chain one, 
two, three, then yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again and do a second double crochet. And there we have done our first V. So you can see we form this little V like that. And now you want to chain one and then skip four stitches. So skip one, two, three, four. And now into the next stitch, we're going to do another V. So we're going to do double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all into the same stitch. Like that. And now chain one and skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And just continue this all the way along for this round. We're going to do a V into the next stitch, then chain one and skip four stitches. Then a V into the next stitch, chain one and skip four stitches all the way along. And whenever we do a V, we do double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all into the same stitch. So we have done a V, chain one, skip one, two, three, four. So now into the next stitch, do a V. Then chain one and skip one, two, three, four. And just continue this all the way along. So I have finished doing that all the way along. So I have done my very last V at the end here. And now to finish off round five, we're going to chain one. So do your last V, then chain one, then skip the next two stitches. And then into the last stitch at the very end, we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, go down into the final stitch and do a double crochet. And there we have finished round five and we're ready to move on to round six. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here, so the last double crochet from last round, and do a double crochet. So go down into this stitch and do a double crochet. And now you want to skip on to the first V. So here we have our first V, and we're going to go into the V, so in the space in the middle of it, and we're going to do seven double crochets. So yarn over, go into the middle of the first V and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets all into that V and we're going to repeat this all the way around for round six. You just want to go into the middle of each V from last round and do seven double crochets. So seven double crochets into the middle of each V. So yarn over and go into the next V and do seven into this one and just continue this all the way along. So I have just finished working that all the way along. So I have done seven double crochets into this last V at the end. And now to finish off this round, 
you want to do a double crochet into this last stitch here. So this last double crochet at the very end of the round. So finish off with a final double crochet. And there we have finished round six and we have done the top part of our purse. So now you want to fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn. And when you cut your yarn, you want to make sure that you leave a nice long tail or a long end. And then you can use that long end to join the top of the bag or the top of the purse with the main part. So fasten off, leaving a long end. And then we are ready to move on to the main part of our purse. So we are purse. now on to the main part of our purse. And to begin this part, we need to do a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we are going to chain 25. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 25. So there I have finished chaining 25. And now we are ready to move on to round one. So to begin round one, we are going to do three half double crochets into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain. And into this chain, we're going to do three half double crochets. So to do a half double crochet, yarn over, Go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet. And now yarn over, go back down into the same chain for a second time and do a second one. Then yarn over, go into the same chain and do a third third half double crochet and now you want to do one half double crochet into each of the next 22 chains so yarn over go into the next chain and do one then do one half double crochet into the second one then one into the third chain and keep doing this until you have 22. So there I have finished doing those 22 half double crochets. And you should find that once you have done that, you have one chain left at the very end here. And into this last chain, we need to do six half double crochets. So yarn over, go into this final chain at the very end of the round or at the very end of the row and do six half double crochets. So there we have one and a second one, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So we have six half double crochets. And now for the rest of round one, we can begin working up along the opposite side of our foundation chain. So, so far we have done our slip knot, then our foundation chain up, then half double crochets down, and when we just did the six half double crochets into this chain at the end, we actually turn the corner and now we can begin working up along the opposite side of the chains. And we're going to start off by working 22 more half double crochets. So yarn over 
and go into this first stitch here. So go into the first stitch or the first chain in the opposite side of the chain and do one half double crochet. Then do one into the next chain and one into the third one and keep going until you have 22. So I have just finished working those 22 half double crochets and you should find that you have one chain left at the end here. And this is the chain that we started off by working three half double crochets into at the very beginning of the round. And we're going to finish off round one by working three half double crochets back down into this chain. And then we will have six at this end, just like we have six down at the end at the bottom. So yarn over, go into this last chain and do three last half double crochets like that. And now to finish off round one, we need to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here is the first half double crochet of the round. And if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 56 stitches. So you will count back one, two, three, four, all the way around to 56. And that will take you to the stitch that you need to do a slip stitch into. So insert your hook into the stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round two. So we are two. now on to round two. And to begin this round, you want to chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round two, we are going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So start off by yarning over and going down into this first stitch here and doing one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next one. And just continue this all the way around one double crochet into every single stitch. So I am just coming to the end of round two. So I have done one double crochet into every single stitch around. And at the end of this round, you should find that you still have 56 double crochets. And now to finish off this round, we are going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So go down into this first double crochet and do a slip stitch. And there we have finished round two and we're ready to move on to the next round. So we are now on to round three of our purse and the next seven rounds are very simple. So for rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine, so the next seven rounds, we are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did. So for each round, you want to chain one, then do one double crochet into every single stitch around, and then finish off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. So you want to do that all the way around for round three, then four, then five, then six, and just keep repeating that until you get to the end of round nine and you have seven repeats. So we're just doing seven more rounds of plain double crochet. So to begin each round, chain one and do one double crochet down into the first stitch, then do one into the next, and do this all the way around 
finishing with a slip stitch in the first double crochet that you worked. And at the end of every round, you should find that you have 56 double crochets. So I have finished working those rounds and I have come to the end of round nine and done my very last slip stitch. And I did actually change colors. I decided I wanted the main part to be in a lighter pink color. So I did switch colors if you're wondering why the color is a bit different. And now once you have done that, so you have done rounds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we are ready to move on to round 10. So to begin round 10, you want to chain one. So just like I have done there, chain one, and that does not count as a stitch. And now to begin round 10, we're going to do five double crochets. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch and the third one along and the fourth and then finally the fifth so do five double crochets one into each stitch and now we are going to do a stitch called two double crochets together so when we do two double crochets together we do two double crochets one into each stitch but then we are not going to complete either of them and then we are going to complete them both together at the same time. So we are effectively turning two stitches into one. So yarn over and go down into the first stitch here and start to work a double crochet, but stop here right before the last step. So usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops at the very end but we are not going to do that. We're going to stop here and move on to our next double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch and start to work a double crochet, but do not complete this one either. So stop right before the last step of the double crochet. So there we have started two double crochets and you should have three loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops to complete the stitch. And there we have done two double crochets together and turned two stitches into one. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round 10. We're going to do five double crochets, one into each stitch, and then do two double crochets together. Then do five more double crochets, two double crochets together, five double crochets, two double crochets together, all the way around. So do five double crochets, like that and then you want to do two double crochets together so yarn over go down into the next stitch and start a double crochet but do not complete it and move on to the next one yarn over go into the next stitch start this double crochet then yarn over and pull through all three loops so there we have done two double crochets together and just repeat that all the way around. So I have finished working that all the way around for round 10. So I have finished off by doing a last set of two double crochets together. And now to finish off this round, do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And now we're ready to move on to round 11. So to begin this round, chain one, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round 11, we're going to do something very similar to last round, 
but last round we did five double crochets then two double crochets together and in round 11 in this round we're going to do four double crochets then two double crochets together then four double crochets two double crochets together all the way around so yarn over go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet then do one into the second one the third and the fourth so there we have four double crochets one into each stitch and now do your first set of two double crochets together like that and just repeat this all the way around four double crochets one into each stitch two double crochets together all the way around and this is actually the very last round of the main part of our purse or our bag So I have finished working that all the way around for round 11 and when you get to the end of that round you want to do a slip stitch into the very last stitch that you worked. So work a last slip stitch and then you can fasten off so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in later. And there we have finished the main part of our bag. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to attach our top section to the main part. So to do that, you want to take a yarn needle like this. So a yarn needle or a tapestry needle and then take the top section of your work and the end where you fastened off at the very end and left a long tail or a long end. Take this end and thread it through your needle so I'm going to thread my needle with this end and then you want to take the main part of your bag so take the main section and have the back facing you so you can see the back with the seam have this facing you and then take the top part of the bag and have the wrong side facing upwards so you can see this is the wrong side of the shells have this facing upwards and lay it on top of the back of the bag and then you have your end and thread your end through your needle and we are going to sew up our bag along this edge here using the whip stitch so go to the very corner and line your work up so line it up like this and we're going to go through the very corner so the very corner stitch and go through both sides and then we're going to come back around so back around to the same side we just went through and go through both stitches so through both the main part and the top part pull your yarn through then come back around to this side again so with the whip stitch you always come back around to the same side so come back around here and go through the next stitch and then to the same place on the opposite side of the top part and pull your yarn through and just do this all the way along to sew up your bag so we are doing the whip stitch all the way along and then once you have sewn up the back you can flip this over and turn it over to the front and you will have sewn it up and finished your bag.
So I have finished joining my purse all the way along the back. So I did the whip stitch all the way along the back here. And then I've weaved all of my ends into the inside. And then I added a little button on the front here, which lined up perfectly with the middle of the top. So you can see the first, second, third shell along. So I lined up a button and attached it to the bottom and then just use this space in the middle V as the button loop. And we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. And I will also leave a link in the description box to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye!